Okay. Well, I'm duly impressed. Okay. I'm Hi, I'm Dick Mace, and this is my best friend, Jeff Gatner. Hello. And we are the creators of the Magic Metric, which stood for the Mays and Gatner Index of Contribution. Yeah, you got top billing. How did that happen? Well, I own the camera. So. Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay. Well, there you go. Anyway, so we're old guys now, but back in the day, we were ballers. And as Jeff was demonstrating, he could still spin the ball on his finger. Well, not as well as he used to be able to. Yeah. And we're going to make these videos to explain what the Magic Metric is. But even more important than the Magic Metric, what? The uh, rotation system that we used in our uh, rec recreational leagues. We think that the rotation system is even. Now you got to give camera eye contact. Right. Okay. okay, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm talking to you, but yeah, okay, but there's okay, the yeah, audience so right. out there, right in the camera. Talk. We're going to make a series of videos. I don't know how many they're going to be. There'll probably be five, maybe. So this first one, you probably we're just getting warmed up. You can probably skip it because the first video we're going to talk about how great we were back in the day. Yes, yes. Okay. So if there was one to miss, this would be it. This would be it. Yes. The second video, we're going to talk about the magic metric in detail. And then the third video, we're going to try to talk about uh, the rotation, rotation system. Rotation system, yes. Which we're both, uh, I call it the magic metric rotation system, even though it's got nothing to do with the magic metric. Well, we use it for measuring the stats. We use the magic metric for measuring the stats right. that we use to uh, to set up the rotation system. Yeah. Uh, which, uh, um, um, not that the magic metric isn't great. Magic metric is great. We've had... Uh, um, it was something we kind of started on a whim, and it ended up being picked up on, by the CBS Sports Ticker. And well, we kept the website. Yeah, yeah, we kept Magic. the website. We kept the yeah. website for uh, you know a number of years. I think five overall, wasn't yeah. it? Five. I think, yeah. That okay. So, the Magic Metric is a basketball player rating system, and we kept a website going called MagicMetric.com for about five years, and uh, we think it's pretty cool. We're going to talk about that. But first, this first time, we're just going to introduce ourselves and okay and. Um, I'll tell you that, Jeff, I can say this, because if I say I'm a great player, nobody believes it, but and I wasn't a great player. But Jeff was one of the best uh, pickup court basketball players I've ever played with, and we've been, we did not like each other initially. You, you uh, no, when, when I first met you, I, I thought, you know, um, uh, you thought... You thought I was aptly named, my name being Dick Mays. Let's just leave it oh, at that. Oh, I was going to say, what was wrong with Mays, but anyway, but... Uh, yes. yes. Uh, Anyway, <laughs> we, uh, I'd heard so much about this guy from this coworker. We worked together, and, and, and Jeff was our ringer in our basketball league and um, the yeah. first year. And I, this guy thought Jeff was such a phenomenal athlete that he used to rave about him all the time. And so I was just competitive. Now, I didn't, couldn't play basketball like Jeff, but I didn't stop me from not liking him, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and – uh, um... I don't think I I don't I don't know if I disliked you. I just found you kind of annoying. Yes. So, but, but uh, twenty eight years later, you know it's twenty eight years. Twenty eight. Yeah, I know that. It's amazing. And we're best of friends. Jeff was always pretty athletic and always played intramural sports and uh, sure. was became by the time he was in college, he became known as a ringer for a lot of softball. Yes. Well, uh, yeah, softball, volleyball, um, and uh, basketball. basketball. Yeah, and uh, the the team that they that my friend recruited me for this was for Hayes, the modem company. Hayes Microcomputer Hayes Products. Hayes micro, Microcomputer Products. If there's mm -hmm. a name from the past, if you remember that one. Yeah. Uh, but I was more of a respectability ringer. Uh, you know, uh, I did we, not come in and lead the team to a championship. Uh, I was I came in and prevented them from losing by every single game thir by thirty points. We actually won game. a couple games. He actually won a couple games against teams that were kind of mi uh, mismatched. mismatched in the same league. That we it was were an in. industrial league. Well, no, it was an open league. No, it was an open league. They were looking for an industrial league, but they got in an open league. Right. Bad and move. we were killed. Bad move. But yes. my story is a little different. I actually uh, was kind of athletic in college. I did judo. Uh, but which came in well for pushing people in basketball, which was what I was known for. But I got paralyzed in my early 30s. And so I took up, tried to take up running when I came back, a disease called Guillain-Barre. And um, wow. it took me a long time to come back. Jeff actually knew me before and after. Um, you didn't know. Well, I, uh, I knew you from the haze before. I didn't know you well. Didn't before. know me well. I didn't know you well before. But uh, then uh, you had left Hayes for a while, right. and then I started at Hayes. Then I came Phillip, back to Hayes. Philip recruited me to come to Hayes, and then uh, and then you came back to Hayes. And when so I first when came we... back to Hayes was about a year after I had Guillain-Barre, and I was terrible on the basketball court. I mean, I was slow. 
moving and people laugh at me. What? Um, but I played uh, between then I got divorced a few years later and I uh, became a decent basketball player in the, the years between two wives. Sure. Right. Well, I was yeah. playing basketball four times a week. All right. And right. I became what was the prototype average player in the, in the, in the league at that time at my best. In my late thirties. I don't know. I think you're about that. You were. Yeah. You were. You were, you were I had too, one year. I was good. You were. You were too good of a shooter to be average. You were. Yeah. You, you, you. You know. You play four times a week. You get a lot better. You got, yeah. had a very good outside shot. Well, what we're the most proud of. Is, I would call it a jump shot, but um, not I'm sure that he ever elevated. But yeah. you know. Thank you. Thank you for that. Did I say that we don't have to say everything on this thing? Okay. Oh yeah. Well, you're editing. You can edit that out. Yeah. Sure. I'll probably leave that in. That's probably the most interesting thing in the first part. <laughs> so the thing about this was. We would play. We actually wound up working. I became chief technical officer of a company, and we worked together, and I made the rules. And uh, right. we used to go play basketball. Th- we tried to play three times a week, but we probably averaged sure. twice a week. Yeah. And we'd go out, lunchtime basketball, and we would play ourselves, each other one-on-one. Well, we, yeah, we would, we, would go, we would first go out to try to play two-on-two. We'd try to play two-on-two, but most right. of the time we played one-on-one. Yeah, you know, we one- played a lot of one-on-one. Yeah. And um, so what we did is he had rules because he was so much better better basketball. He's 6'5", I'm 5'10". Yeah. So his rule was, that getting a rule, was she couldn't shoot the ball from inside the paint. And um, was that the only – and you had to take it back. You um, had to take it back. I, I couldn't, couldn't shoot in the paint, all that. Um, I might think, have made a, I another think, rule, too. I think the handcuffs were a little ex- excessive. You uh, know, well, just... he had to have one hand, just one hand cuffed, okay? I mean, <laughs> just uh, kidding. Yeah. But no, anyway. No handcuffs. Um, but, we, uh, we probably played 2,000 games, and I won twice. I did win twice. And yeah. One time that I won, uh, I shot the winning shot from what? Uh, probably feet? between 35 and 40 feet away from the basket. Right. So I have I had a few moments. With, this, with a shot like this, Ernie D. Like, like, like somebody throwing an right. inbounds pass. So anyway, <laughs> what we're proud of is in that time, when I be, once I became a good basketball player, we actually had a run. Five years where we did not lose a two-on-two game. We played pickup right. games with people. And we were pretty late. And later in our, I mean, we were like. <laughs> we're both uh, over 40 when we lost. Both, um, I think I was just under and when we started and, and uh, you know, like maybe 39, 38, We were both 39. in our 30s when we started our run. Right. I was like 39 and you were like 37. 37, right. And then, yeah, so <laughs> and it, then, it lasted a good time, a good amount of time. Yeah, it, you were like, I think we were like 41 and 40. Three when we lost. A, yeah, a game. but uh, but uh, there's a lot of fun memories in there. You know, like uh, like those guys from UAB. They said they were from UAB. Hmm? They said they played. They ball said they the played. Team. They said they played ball at UAB, and and so you know uh, the normal pickup game rules. Uh, uh, they uh, have make it take uh, it. Yeah, a it's make it take it, which is an aberration to basketball. It's like it's it's a it's a rule that was made. Um, for inferior inferior teams to have a chance to come back, right. you know, it's like they it's, always have hope that if they get hot enough, they can come back and beat you. Right. It's it has no semblance to basketball whatsoever. Um, and the other thing is that they would count shots outside the arc as two, twos and ones, and and inside and shots inside the arc as one. Which we is thought also that was not unfair like because we were actually both pretty good three point shooters. So uh, we 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 wanted to play threes and twos. I think I think yeah. Well, I think the uh, ones and twos rule is for the mathematically challenged. Right. Is what I think. So we our standard game would be threes and twos to twenty five. And so right. they they said they were going to spot us how many points? Fifteen. Fifteen. They were going to spot us fifteen points to twenty five. And my response and, was, and they could both dunk the ball. Neither right. one of us could dunk the ball. Back in the good days, you might have been able to dunk the ball, but at that forty. Um, at that time, no. I think when we started, I, I didn't blow my knee out till I was um, yeah. forty. Too. Yeah, and, and that that and that was like the the tail end of when we had the good times when right. you know, but I couldn't jump but, with the flip. But we ran one play all the time. It was a high pick and roll. Uh, he would set the pick at the top of the key. I'd come around the pick and I had this good hook shot that I could hit about seventy percent of the time from about eight feet out with the bank shot off the back of the thing. Mm-hmm. And so the person that was the tall person would be covering Jeff, and they'd have to spin. He would spin off and have to cover me, and I and Jeff would roll to the to the thing and I would take that hook shot and just throw it off the backboard and he would catch it and put it in. Well, so, when, when you weren't trying to make it, if you were right. off balance, if you had to, if you had to work too hard to get the shot off, yeah. then it would, then it would, would go off the backboard. And I normally, since I set the pick, I normally had inside position. Listen. So that was always a, that was always a pretty good play. So pick and roll, still the best play in basketball. Oh, well, that, right okay. well, that, that's, anyway, that's, let's, that's, that's probably enough talking about ourselves, that's, introducing ourselves and things. But how much did we beat them by? We didn't tell them by. We, yeah, we didn't say that. Uh, yeah, they were going to spot us 15 to 25. My response was, well, 
let's just play it straight up and see how it goes. What was the score? 25-9. We won. But we basketball was really good for us. Uh, we had it's a great wonderful for me. Yeah, we had a great great time doing it. So we're looking at this being kind of a legacy for us. Uh, leaving some of the things, the uh, rotation system that we're going to talk about in the third video, um, yes. we both think is probably very interesting if you're a coach. Uh, and um, we're going to show some of those things over here on the monitor. And uh, so it won't be as boring as just watching us talk the whole time on the other sure. videos. I think, I think it's useful for anyone. It's, we, we used it in recreational leagues, and it's absolutely perfect for recreational leagues. And we'll get to all the reasons why. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I think um, uh, I played uh, high school basketball. I would have loved for that to have been used by my coach. Right. It is, it is, it is great for the players. It is great for the coach. Uh, it, it, um, in, mm -hmm. in my opinion, of course, this is, this is like uh, our invention dicted uh, um, most of the uh, statistic work. But we, but we yeah, well, let's well, we're, let's go but, into that right now. But so anyway, but let, let's, uh, let's pause this for, for okay. example. Let me pause that one here. Let's 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 stop that.